Hi, this is Prush Talker. In this video, we're going to discuss why cherry picking is probably not a good idea in the NBA. We're going to do a very simplified form of analysis, and we're going to make some unrealistic assumptions, but they'll be good enough to illustrate the main point. The average play in the NBA will be in the half court, and it'll have five on the blue team against five on the red team. If the blue team is running the offense in an average manner and the red team is defending, then we're going to say blue scores 45% of the time. This is based on the average field goal percentage in the NBA. The strategy of cherry picking says that the red team is going to take one defender and move it all the way to the other basket. So this means the blue team has a five on four advantage if cherry picking were to work successfully, we can imagine the red team defends just as well as if they had five players, but the advantage is that if the blue team misses, the red team can heave the ball to the other basket and will score 100% of the time because the red team's undefended. So in this case, blue would score 45% of the time, which is the average. Red is going to score 55% because they get all of blue's misses. So cherry picking might actually work as a strategy. And this is pretty surprising. But why, why won't you see this? What's, what could be a problem with it? Well, we have to use game theory and think about it strategically. So one main problem is that the blue team is not going to just accept this situation. One thing the blue team can do is they can react and they can send a defender against the cherry picker. So now since both sides have an even number of offensive players and defensive players, the field goal percentage might go to the average of 45%. Another issue is that blue could simply copy red strategy. So this is known as a strategy stealing argument. So if blue actually had a disadvantage, if it was a disadvantage to be on possession and it be on offense, then what blue could do is they could just give red the ball and then they could be the cherry pickers. So this clearly shows that cherry picking cannot be a dedicated good strategy and it's unlikely to work as something a team does very regularly. However, because it's something new, I still would like to see it as a fan, and it'd be interesting to see how it actually plays out. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can support me on Patreon. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Prashtalwakar, and you can get my books listed on my website.